Hello, my sugar plums. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am back and I have missed you so much. This is a quick sneak peek of what we're going to be doing today. Today, I have partnered with Totally Dazzle and we're going to make this beautiful, beautiful jewelry box. So, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial right now. Now, the mold I'm going to be using is actually a domino mold. They sell them on Amazon, but you can use them for any type of like you know box that you want it doesn't have to be a, uh, exactly just a specific domino mold but you can use it as a jewelry box so you're gonna be using some glitter because the theme today is gonna be sparkle and the name of this box is color me sparkle now I'm gonna be using a lot of pink a lot of you know beautiful glitter shiny almost like a Valentine's Day theme kind of colors so I'm gonna go ahead and divide my epoxy into five cups I'm gonna be using the rose gold fine glitter from uh, let's resin we're also gonna be using the uh, silver uh, red from let's resin also for fine glitter and this beautiful glitter right here is the magic opal chunky glitter from let's resin and we're also gonna be using the pink opal glitter from let's resin as well now as far as my uh, mica powder I'm gonna be using the bright pink color from Prisma 65 and I'm gonna mix 10 drop of red uh, alcohol ink in it and this is a homemade alcohol ink as always I have a video for that so if you're interested in making your own alcohol ink just go ahead and find the video on my channel and you'll not be disappointed because they work fabulous now I'm just gonna go ahead and put all my glitter down first doesn't have to be a specific order there's no rhyme of reason I'm just putting the glitter down and the reason that you have to put the glitter down is because I'm gonna be using the uh, bottom side as my outside of the box so I want the glitter to be showing quite well so once I put my glitter down I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up a little bit to kind of move them and mix them a little bit and then I'm gonna use my uh, mica powder mix with alcohol ink as my main pink color and I make it pretty sheer because I want the box to be quite sheer and a beautiful and glittery now once I finish doing that again I'm gonna heat it up with my uh, heat gun and my uh, torch on low heat guys make sure when you're using your torch on you know your uh, silicone mold you use like low heat because you don't want to damage your mold so once I finish doing that I wanted to have a little bit more red showing then I'm just gonna use like a few drops of the alcohol ink on a popsicle stick and I'm gonna run it through the mold inside the uh, mold, uh, epoxy mold directly so that way we have a little bit of the red showing more um, on the uh, you know the box itself now once I finish doing that I, again I'm gonna use my heat gun to kind of you know disperse the, the red a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, filling up uh, the, the mold with uh, some clear that's it once I finish doing that I'm gonna go ahead and let it cure overnight and you're gonna see the beautiful beautiful color that's gonna be showing in with those kind of mold actually you can use uh, either side to choose which side is gonna be the inside of the box or the outside but I decided to go with the one that's down to put on the outside but either way you can choose I love those more guys they are so so easy to put back together it's a very very easy now this is the molding time this is the next day and you can see how beautiful that color combination is guys I am not a pink person if you've been watching my channel for a long time you know I'm purple all the way but I have to say myself that color is so beautiful and so girly I absolutely love it now once I finish the molding all um, the, you know the pieces together we're gonna go ahead and put it together now because I'm gonna go ahead and dazzle you know create like more sparkle on the top you can choose to do that before you put your mold together if you're not comfortable of using epoxy after you, you finish the whole thing together so I'm gonna be showing you the other hand I decided to put my my uh, box together first and then do the top but if you're not comfortable I suggest that you do the part that I'm gonna be doing the next part before you do this part so putting this mold together again I say it's super easy it's like putting a puzzle piece together you just have to find the, the piece and then clip it together and then of course you're gonna need to use um, 
quick setting and very strong adhesive to make sure that your box is not gonna come um, you know apart later on so after i finish putting my box together i'm gonna go ahead and quickly use some uv resin on you know on the part that i put together so that way my box is gonna be nice and steady it's not gonna come apart and as you can see guys the box is so beautiful i love love this color and the shiny because it's sheer it's so beautiful i absolutely love it and this is a very heavy box guys this box is super uh, heavy and it's very nice and sturdy now once i'm done now this is the part that more fun for me and we're gonna be again using totally dazzle this is part of their new collection guys and let me tell you it's breathtaking it's beautiful all you have to do is um, cut peel and stick now this is a big like belt type looking um sparkly beautifulness oh but you don't need to use the whole piece at once you can literally like i'm doing right now cut the piece that you want to use and then you know save the rest for later on and then peel and stick it in whatever project that you're using the adhesive on the back it's a very strong and very thick um sticky tape and all you have to do is fill and stick it now this piece is gorgeous but they have so much more gorgeous piece on their website and guys i am never 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 cease to be amazed by to the dazzle their quality of their product is extremely high and beautiful and extremely cheap i don't know how they do it but you guys you definitely need to check them out and you will not regret it again everything i'm using is going to be in the description box below make sure you check out the link to go onto the Dazzle website to check out their product and also on the amazon link for all the you know glitter and um mica powder that i use and also the mold if you want to make that specific box yourself now once i put my centerpiece in the middle which is this beautiful <laughs> sparkle beautiful belt i went and cut it now i'm gonna go ahead and put the rest aside for another project of course or multiple project uh, based on what you know how you know big or small i'm gonna use it now i'm gonna go ahead and build almost like a geode like top for the top part of the box and i'm gonna be using some beautiful small tiny um metallic silver uh, loose gem as well as some very hot pink uh, loose gem as well now this part you can choose to use uv resin to do it but i'm still gonna go ahead and use my two-part epoxy to do it just because it gives me more time and I don't like using UV resin uh, that much because it kind of smells quite uh, strong and uh, I prefer to use the two-part epoxy and if you wonder what type of epoxy I'm using I am using Pomarine Supply that's what I'm using for this project so after I putting uh, finish putting my uh, loose gem down I just go over it drizzle a little bit of epoxy to make sure it's gonna set and then I'm gonna go around and put my hot paint uh, gemstone uh, and then I'm gonna drizzle more epoxy on top of it and then i'm gonna diffuse the hot pink because that pink was super 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 bright so i'm gonna diffuse it a little bit by adding some chunky pink opal glitter the same that i use in the box itself i'm gonna put it on top of the hot pink and then again i'm gonna go and add some more sparkle in it by doing a uh, pink the same rose gold fine glitter and a white glitter now guys again everything that i'm using is gonna be in the description box below either you're gonna click on the totally dazzle uh, link for all the uh, beautiful sparkle that i'm gonna be using at the centerpiece and i'm also gonna be using another piece from totally dazzle as well or you can click on the amazon um, link for every other uh, product that i'm gonna be using Again, what you're seeing me doing right now is me adding a, uh, some glitter into a little bit of epoxy. And I'm adding quite a lot of glitter because I want this uh, uh, glitter when I put it down. I don't want the epoxy to move. 
you want it to be a nice and thick again that's what i say if you're not comfortable uh using you know the epoxy you're not sure you know if it's gonna drip to the side make sure you do this part before you put the box together you can easily you know tape the side and the bottom part and do this um top part and not worry about epoxy dripping down but i i know uh, you know uh, how much epoxy i need to use and you know the thickness of it uh in order for it not to drip and i also you see me going in you know, on the side with a little bit of alcohol um on a, a kitchen paper just because i want to make sure that there's no drippage you know on the side of the box because otherwise your box is gonna be shut closed and you will not be able to you know open and close it now once I finish doing that guys again I'm using my my torch on a low setting and then that's it I'm just gonna go ahead and let this part cure overnight Now make sure uh, you let it nice and cure. It has to be completely cure for the next step. The next step, I'm gonna use this beautiful uh, brush from Tony Dazzo. As you can see, it was a brush. I just removed the back end of it using a flat nose plier. And how beautiful is this is this piece, guys? I'm telling you, they have such beautiful option there, and uh, I absolutely love love their products. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that on the front. Uh, part of the box using a little bit of uv resin again guys you don't need to use uv resin for any of those you can use like a very strong adhesive that's my preference so but you don't need to use that and once we finish doing that guys all i'm have to do right now is add some line to create you know a little bit of detailing you know because it's almost like a geode like i'm just gonna go ahead and add some line to tie everything up together and i'm using my deco art in uh, metallic gold and this pen is a fine tape pen from uh artistro and it's uh white so i'm just gonna add some white uh, line quickly i used uh, the fine tape again to use some very fine uh the fine line of the white and then once we finish doing that all i'm gonna be doing again i'm gonna use a tiny little bit of resin and i'm gonna you know top coat everything to give it that beautiful smooth glass like um you know a finish and then again make sure you be careful if you're doing that after you put your box together you don't want any resin to drip on the side you're gonna see me use like a very um small brush to kind of brush um bring the epoxy all the way to the um to the edge of the uh, of the box because i don't want it to drip down um once i finish doing that i'm gonna go ahead and let it cure overnight and then we are done the box is gonna be done and we have a beautiful color me sparkle box featuring tony dazzle a jewelry piece now i'm gonna give you a quick and very very detailed look at the finished result guys okay thank you so much again for being here guys i hope you like this video if you do don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up like subscribe and comment and share it with your friend and family and you can do this beautiful piece either for valentine's day as someone's birthday or guys you can just give it to someone as a wedding gift or any type of gift that you want or just better yet just do it for yourself guys that was it for today i love you guys so so much and i will see you next week for another video here. until then you know the drill be blessed and stay blessed guys i'll see you soon bye i love you Mwah. Higher, Ooh, we can see so clear.